this is Candy, and I've got a completed page video here. Um, didn't get a ton done, but this is from September and October. Um, the first page I did was in this Enchanted Earth book, and um, I have such a hard time choosing pages, so I kind of just been starting in the beginning because I love them all, and it's just hard to choose. Um, the only time I really go in the middle for the most part is if someone wants to do a buddy color or something, just cause I can't, <laughs> I just can't choose. Um, but I really like how this one turned out. The little itty bitty details are a little harder. I like the big images I'm finding, That's, but I'm just still kind of trying to figure out my art style when it comes to coloring books. Um, the next page I did was in this A Million Magical Creatures and I did the fishbowl. I like how this one turned out. Kind of cute. Um, the next one I did was a printed out page from a coloring book that I had purchased. I don't like that one. Um, I tried playing around with the background. Um, not super happy with the way it turned out, but it looks cute. Um, the next um, book I found this at Walmart. I uh, thought, oh, how perfect, right in October. So I only did one page. I actually did a buddy color with this one, and I'll put an image of the gal, Judith, um, who colored with me. I'll pop in a picture of hers, either right here or at the end. And then after that one, I did one in my um, Mermaids by Pop Manga, um, Camellia, uh, did Draco? I can never remember how to say her name. Um, but this was the page, and this was actually the first time I used the acrylic paint for the background. And I really like the way it turned out. Um, used a little Posca pen, um, but I couldn't believe how fast it went when you have that paint down first. So I watched um, Dee Dee's video, and I'll put a link to her below. Um, she shows often how different ways to color, and um, she uses the paint, and wow, I really enjoyed that. So that was kind of fun. And then my next page was here in Cute and Creepy, and again, I tried the paint. Um, this time I used um, glossy paint and didn't realize it, so it didn't go down quite as easy as the last one. But I still like the way it turned out. It's a cute little patootie. I love her books. And then um, tried another one with the acrylic painting. And um, this was the folk art paint. And it was matte, but it didn't lay down quite as nice as the other books did. But I do like how this one turned out. Um, but I put the red first and then the yellow had a hard time covering up any of the overs that I did. So it was a couple of coats of yellow here. Um, I added a little bit of gold to it, kind of see. Um, but this was more playing around just to see what the paint would do. Um, and like I say, it, it was a little harder than the last one. Um, just cause the, like, I don't know if it's, I think the last one I used was deco art and it worked a little bit better than the folk art, but I'm going to keep playing around with it. These books really take, eh, sorry, take paint well. And then I have one whip in process. Um, I started, um, coloring this one with my, um, Copic markers and I'm going to go in here and add all the details with the pencils. So I'm really excited about this one. Um, and I looked on Instagram and I didn't see too many of these done. I think I only found one other person who had colored this page. So um, sometimes I like to look at other people's just so I can get all the details because there's so many little things jumping in and out. And I sometimes have trouble figuring out what's what. <laughs> but um, this one was a little tougher, like here in this little foot of the... A lot of times I'd miss that and try to color it like hair. Um, but anyway, those are my completed pages for this month. I hope you like them. Um, I try to put up on Instagram as I get them done just so they're not sitting forever because <laughs> I just, I'm so slow when it comes to. Life has just been so crazy for us. Um, our, we have two special needs sons and um, our oldest um, just got moved 
and starting his very first job after college. So it's just been a busy time for our family. So anyway, hope you guys are all having a great day. Can't wait to check out all your guys' coloring pages and have a wonderful November.